Have you ever turned up in a dressing room and someone happens to be unzipping their roller bag and as they open that up, the most awful odor you have ever detected in your life wafts up to assail your senses? Nobody wants to be the person in a dressing room that stinks. And if you can't identify who that might be, there is the slim chance it might be you. Well, let's make sure that is never the fate that befalls you, my friend. I'm Mike Quackenbush. This is Till We Make It, and we're talking about cleaning your gear. Just come home from a weekend on the road and it is time to clean your gear. Where do you start? The first thing I do when I get home is I make sure to turn my gear inside out. I want the parts that were up against my skin, where all that perspiration was, to be facing outward before I start cleaning. At this stage, you might be thinking, Mike's about to throw that in the washing machine. And no, I am not, because I need my gear to last. An average set of my custom gear costs $400. So you better believe I need this to last forever. Every piece of custom gear that I own after I turn it inside out goes in the bathtub and I'm going to fill it up with just lukewarm water. I don't want it to be boiling hot and I don't want it to be freezing cold either. And once the tub is about a third of the way full, I mix in some of this. Woolite is great. Woolite is a detergent and Woolite is not a video sponsor, but this is really what I use to clean my gear. I'll fill the cup about halfway, dump it into the tub, and then I just stick my hand in and agitate it until the whole tub is full of suds. If you've never seen Woolite before, it's not hard to find. Any place that sells laundry detergent will probably also have Woolite, and it comes in a bunch of different varieties, but I like this one for dark colors because I need all the vibrant colors of my gear to be preserved for as long as possible. So my gear's gone in the tub and I add in a little bit of wool light and I make everything into a gigantic, I don't know what I'm gonna say there, pile of suds, is it a pile? Do you make a pile of suds? So all my custom gear goes into the tub, I fill it up with that room temperature water, I dump in a little bit of wool light and I agitate it until I've got a huge pile of suds, which is not, it feels really weird to say pile. <laughs> So all my custom gear goes into the tub with that room temperature water. I put in a little wool light. I agitate all of it until I have an accumulation of suds. And then I'm just going to let it sit for about 60 seconds. Then one by one, I'm going to make sure to move each piece of the gear through. I'm going to try to make sure that I get that soapy water to pass through it. And then immediately I turn on clean water and rinse it clean. I don't let my custom gear soak. Whether you get your gear from the in-stock section on highspots.com or it's bespoke, it's custom made just for you. The truth is we all need our gear to last for as long as possible. And I don't want to do anything to try and compromise either the fabrics, the quality of the color, or the stitch work. That's why I never ever let custom gear soak. One by one, I'm going to repeat that process with every piece of custom gear I've got. A top, a bottom, kick pads, elbow pads, knee pads, any kind of pads, you name it. They all go through that process and none of them end up spending more than two to three minutes tops in the sudsy water. And maybe you're thinking this is the part where Mike's going to throw things in the dryer and no I am not. I'm putting them on my drying rack. I've made a huge investment in my gear and I want to make sure I get the longest possible life out of it. That's why I'm never trusting it to a machine. I'll wash it all by hand and then I'm going to hang each article right up on this drying rack and let it drip dry. If you've got an area outside your house where you can stick this drying rack where it's in direct sunlight, even better because the natural sunlight will help kill a lot of the bacteria and germs that might be left in your gear. And as soon as I get all my custom gear hung up, you better believe I'm hitting it all with a bit of Febreze. You've never seen Febreze before. It is about to become your new best friend and you'll find it not far from Woolite in any section of any store where they've got detergent. And to make sure there is absolutely no chance my gear has ever got a malodorous scent about it, I Febreze it once right when I hang it, and then before I fold it and put it all away, I hit it with Febreze a second time. Washing your gear by hand might seem like a chore, and yes, using a machine to do all the work might be a whole lot more expedient. But if you want to preserve your gear, make sure the colors stay vibrant and have a long life for the investment that you put into looking so fine, then I can't recommend strongly enough. Follow my tips for cleaning your gear. You might be getting your gear dirty this weekend. If you're on your way out to a booking and you're looking for new ideas, tips, and hacks to help elevate your game to a brand new level, I know you'll enjoy my book. Seven Keys to Becoming a Better Performer is available in digital and print through Amazon.com 
or I'll read it to you myself through the magic of Audible. If you found this video helpful, get your clicking finger ready. Leave us a like, hit that subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications so that you get notified. I'll keep making videos, you keep being awesome, and we'll keep faking it.